You're welcome to Fashion Week. I'm Elizabeth Ife Adetolo. Quickly today, we'll be looking into ideal clothes for a child of God. Ideal clothes for a child of God. Yeah. A child of God should put on something that will glorify God because God lives in you. God lives in your body. Your body is the temple of God and no unclean thing should enter. So your body, what, what, uh, anything you are putting on your body should glorify God. You should wear whatever you are wearing with the consciousness that you are carrying Christ in your body. You should wear it with the consciousness that Christ is with you, that Christ dwells in you. So quickly, I'll be calling our attention, I'll be drawing our attention because some people are, have actually been, 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 been losing their guide because of fashion, because of what is going on in the world today. And I believe your life will not remain the same after you listen to this uh, uh, message. So I want to say that as a child of God, when you wear a cloth, you should not wear a cloth that will be revealing your cleavage. A cloth that will be revealing your breast. In fact, some people even go to the extent of wearing clothes that will show the upper part of their breast. And they boastfully say that I am a child of God. I think such person needs to check herself. So a cloth that is covering up, a cloth that is covering your, 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 your nudity is the appropriate cloth for a child of God. So you should avoid a low neck clothes as much as possible. You should avoid a low neck clothes as much as possible. So if you are wearing a cloth, check out in the mirror that it is covering up very well, that your cleavage is not showing and that, that there are some, some parts of your breast is not coming up. And in fact that we are not seeing that your breast is pumping up or something. That is one. Another thing is you must pay attention to this kind of skirt, the type of skirt that you wear. A skirt that is showing the line of your pants is in fact disgracing. I don't know. But some people take pride in it. But as a child of God, it is not something that must be found in your closet. It is not something that must be found in your wardrobe. So you must do away with something like that as much as possible. How do you know? You have you you actually know the skirts that you can wear, and to bring your, your the line of your pint will be showing. And if you do not know, after dressing up, you can just turn around and look at what people will be seeing outside. By the time you go outside there, people will be looking at you. So it's, it is not spiritual to say how will i be checking my buttocks in the mirror you are not checking it but you are going out there to disgrace yourself and in fact many people are even checking you out so you should check yourself out even before you go out there so you check it if it is revealing the line of your pants then it is not something you should wear you do away with it because by the time i call some people's attention to the fact that oh this skirt you are putting on is shame they said i, I do not even know i just stress you should know because you should you should check out before you leave the home. That's an, number one. Another thing is that there are some kind of skirts that some people wear now that by the time they wear it, it's in a way, it splits their buttocks. And in fact, you can map out, you can shape out, you can draw out the shape of their buttocks as one by one. So it is standing separately that you can actually see it's they look like they are naked because they are almost naked it's scared that someone is wearing and you can see that the buttocks is slitting it's it, it has splitted and you can even draw it out you can even shape it out it's so bad so by the time you finish dressing please check out if your back is looking is, is glorifying God. Please, as a child of God, you should run from such scared as much as possible. And another thing is that, as a child of God, I would like to call your attention to this. The, the thing is now common, is now rampant, is almost everywhere. But you need to pay attention to it. Please. And it is net. This net that people use everywhere. Some people use it for the end of their clothes. Some people use it for the upper part. And they often use it. You are using a net 
you must say, I want to dress this gently, I want to glorify God in the way I am dressed, and you are putting on a net, and we can even see the line of your bra. We can say what color of bra you are putting on. Such clothes is not befitting. It's not. It, it, it's not even something. It, uh, uh, someone that calls herself a child of God should put on a cloth that you are putting on, and we are seeing the line of your brow. We can even tell. Yo, oh, this girl is putting on pink bra. This lady is putting on blue bra. It's embarrassing. So you should not follow the multitude to do evil. Please, if you have to do away with it, do as much as possible. And the fact is that it is not until you put on net that you look beautiful. Even people of the world, when they decided not to put net, they decided to wear full clothes, we still see that they look beautiful. That is to tell you that you are only following unnecessary trend. You do not have to put it on to look beautiful and some people will wear it and it has gone to the extent that when some people wear it, the whole cloth is net and by the time they are putting the lining and everything is not covering up properly, they will begin to see their cleavage, part of their breast, from the inside. It's disheartening. It's, it's, it's wrong. All in the name of trying to look beautiful. There are clothes that are not net that you can wear and you look great. You look amazing. You look so beautiful. You look beautiful in them. So please, when you are wearing your net, make sure you, are, you, you put the line appropriately. Let it cover up, even if you wear it at all. Not that the one you are just putting only the net. And you now put the, the proper clothes to so now join it here. We are now seeing some of your breast. We are seeing the color of the bra you are putting on is wrong and it does not befit a child of God. Remember, you do not need to follow the multitude to do evil. And the next thing is the length of your skirt or your gown. The length of whatever you are wearing, if it is a gown or a skirt, should go down appropriately let me use the word appropriately by the time you are wearing a skirt and by the time you are sitting down you are struggling to put your two ties on each other so that you will not be opening your your your, your underneath your vagina your tights or your pants it's not appropriate it's not good. By the time you have to just struggle with the skirt, you pull it and pull and pull and pull. Oh, oh. I don't understand. And by the time you sit down, eventually, you will realize that in most cases, your uh, the passage under you is still opening. The passage between the two ties is still opening. And people will still come to tap you, please sit well. Because in, in, in most cases, you are you have lost your guard and you have been carried away. So people will still come back to you and will still come to you, probably your shadows or something will still come to you and say, please sit well and you begin to adjust again. You should know that you should begin to do away with such clothes by now. And let me tell you one thing, I actually used to think, oh, you need to wear two tight clothes, you need to wear something that is skimpy, that is, before you look beautiful, but it is a lie from the pit of hell. I can tell you that again and again. It is a lie from the pit of hell. Take a, uh, let me give you this as, as a, let me say this as uh, an instance. Let me give you an instance. Someone that is Okay, it is not all the time that you wear something that is short. There are sometimes you even wear something that is flowing and you still look beautiful. So if something is now telling you on the inside that you need to cut your skirt to be above your knee, it needs to be very short before you look beautiful, then you should know that it is a lie from the pit of hell. So please, when you are wearing your gown or your skirt, let it come below your knee. So by so doing, when you sit down, the, the one that is above your knee, the length from above the knee to the below knee will be covering the passage between the two ties. I believe you have been blessed. God bless you.